Hey guys, welcome to another gold guide. So today we're going to be focusing on fishing and uh, there have been a lot of changes with fishing recently. Not so much with fishing itself, but with the bot ban. <laughs> so with all the bots gone, fishing is just skyrocketing in price. So um, all of the fish, they've just doubled or tripled in price on most of the servers. And that's because the quantity has been going down and the price has been going up. So I got this graph from the Undermine Journal, and this is for US realms. And um, you can see that the quantity, the red line, it's just it's just plummeting. And then the blue, that's just how much they're selling for, and it just continues to rise. So um, fishing is is really worth doing again. And so I would really recommend doing that. And also, so this this is for the Crescent Saber fish flesh. That's what this graph is for. So um, what I would recommend doing is uh, make sure that you grab, when you fish, make sure you grab um, the appropriate uh, bait. And then also make sure that you get, um, I would rec recommend the Worm Supreme. That's going to give you plus 200 fishing. And then that way you're going to be catching the bigger fish. So you'll be catching the enormous ones. And those are going to be selling for a lot more. Um, also, when I fish, normally what I do is I have two monitors. So I'll just uh, have a movie or TV show playing on the other one. Just because it, it can be kind of boring. But um, anyways, what I'm going to do um, later is I'm going to show you guys uh, maybe like a, a gold per hour or gold binge series on this so that way we can kind of get a better idea of how much gold per hour you're going to be making and also I'm going to keep an eye on this because I'm I'm hoping that the fish price continues to rise um, also what I'd recommend for fishing wise is I would recommend focusing on the sea scorpion and also the abyssal gulper eel and these are both in the spire of Iraq zone. Um, the sea scorpion is on the outside, so like the ocean area, and then the abyssal eel is um, on the inland, and so it'd be like in the ponds and lakes and stuff like that. And like I said, get the appropriate bait. You're gonna be fishing up that bait anyways, and it lasts 10 minutes, so. Um, but yeah, like at the beginning of this expansion, I made a lot of money from fishing and I'm glad it's coming back. I'm glad the bots are gone. And then also just a side note, like with 6.2 coming out, um, from fishing, we're going to be able to, to get the fell blight. And, um, so that's going to be a huge money maker cause that's going to be, we're going to be using that to upgrade our crafted gear to like six or seven fifteen. So, <laughs> So it's gonna really be in high demand. So I'd really recommend getting your fishing up if you're interested in doing it. I know some people hate fishing, which is completely fine, but I really think it, it's another way that we can make some, some gold. And like I said, I think I'm gonna make a video to kind of show you guys exactly how much gold per hour you're gonna make. But right now it seems like it's really good. So I just wanna give you guys this update that fishing is relevant again and that you can make some gold um, and also the reason I selected the sea scorpion and the abyssal eel is because they just they sell really well right now because the sea scorpion they use it for healing tonics and also some feasts and then also the abyssal eel you can make the critical strike uh, 125 food buff so anyways they'll be in high demand and especially as the quantity co continues to plummet so um, yeah, guys, I hope this is helpful for you guys. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time.